Hi guys, Jeremy here, and today I'm going to show you a simple step-by-step -step way to set up recurring products in Go High Level. So this is perfect if you want to offer subscriptions, memberships, or any ongoing services using the platform. But before we dive into the details, there's something special that I want to share with you. You see, normally if you go through Go High Level's website, you're going to get a 14-day free trial. However, if you use my link in the description below, you're going to receive a 30-day free trial. And on top of that, as a big thank you, I'm also giving you access to my full course, Go High level jumpstart which walks you through setting up and launching your business within those first 30 days. Go High Level offers many features and it's easy to get lost so in my course I highlight the most important aspects to focus on helping you start making money using Go High Level in those initial 30 days. Additionally you're going to receive my top-notch high quality templates for free including the business hub template for managing your business and the finance hub for tracking your finances among others. Now those are worth over $900 but you're going to get all of that for free as a thank you for using my affiliate link in the description below. Simply click the first link to find all the details about these offers and how to claim them. It's just my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. Now let's dive in. First, let's understand the power of recurring products. Recurring products can really change the game for businesses that need steady, monthly, or yearly income. For example, if you run a digital marketing agency with monthly retainers or manage an online membership site with exclusive content every four weeks, recurring payments make life so much easier. You don't have to keep sending payment reminders or chase after invoices. Plus, it's a better experience for customers. They'll know exactly what they're getting and when they'll be billed. It's simple and predictable, which keeps everyone happy. And the best part is that Go High Level makes setting up these products super easy. Now, let me walk you through how to create a recurring product step-by-step -step in Go High Level. So first off, log into your Go High Level agency account. Then switch to the sub account where you want to create the recurring product. Next, click on the payments tab in the left-hand menu. Now this will take you to the payments page. And from there, click on the products section. And on the products page, you'll see your existing products. You can also create recurring products here. To do that, just click on the create product button. And as soon as you hit that button, you're going to land on the product creation page. Now this page has four main sections, product information, pricing, variants, and search engine listing. Let's go through each of these sections step by step. So the product information section is where you're going to share the basics about your recurring product. First, enter a product name that clearly tells the people what you're offering. Then add a description that explains what's included, the benefits, and any key features. This section lets you use rich text formatting so you can emphasize important points, add bullet lists, and highlight key details. Next, you can upload images or videos to show what your product looks like. Now, if your product is part of a specific collection, you can easily assign it to one by choosing from the available options. Also, you can add a product tax code if needed. Finally, there's an option to include or exclude taxes based on your settings. Pricing section is super important when setting up a product that charges customers on a regular basis. Now, this is where you decide how much to charge and how often. It helps you set up subscription-based pricing so that customers get billed automatically at regular intervals. First, under the type dropdown, make sure that the recurring option is selected. Now, this means the product will be charged over and over again, not just as a one-time payment. Then in the amount field, you enter how much customers will pay for each billing cycle. For example, this product costs 15 US dollars per cycle. Next, there's the compare at price field, which is optional. Now you can use it to show a discount if needed. If you put a higher price there, customers will see the original price crossed out next to the new discounted price. The billing period field specifies how often customers will be charged. For example, the billing period is set to monthly, meaning that the customer is going to pay $15 every month. Other available billing periods typically include daily, weekly, and yearly, depending on your subscription model. The trial period field allows you to offer a free or reduced cost trial for a certain number of days before the customer is charged the full recurring amount. This is useful if you want to let customers test your product before committing to payments. The number of payments field determines how many times the customer will be billed before the subscription ends. If left blank, the subscription will just continue indefinitely until canceled. The setup fee field is used if you want to 
charge an initial one-time fee in addition to the recurring charges. In this case, the setup fee is set to zero US dollars, meaning that there's no extra upfront cost. Lastly, the track inventory checkbox allows you to manage stock levels if your recurring product involves physical goods. Now, since most subscriptions are digital or service-based, this is typically left unchecked. If you want to create different pricing tiers for the same product, like a basic standard or premium plan, you can click on the add another price to define additional pricing options. Now the variance section is where you can add different options for your product like size, color, or plan levels. For example, if your product has multiple subscription options like basic, standard, and premium, you can set these up as variants. Now this way customers can easily pick the plan that works best for them. The search engine listing section lets you set up how your product appears in search results. Start with an SEO friendly title that clearly explains your your product. Then write a short and engaging description that includes important keywords and highlights what makes your product valuable. The handle field decides the product's URL, so keep it short and relevant. Now, once you've filled out all of the sections, take a moment to review everything to make sure that it's accurate. After you've double checked that everything looks good, go ahead and click the save button and that's it. Your subscription product is now ready and customers can start buying it through through your Go High Level checkout system. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that this step-by-step -step guide helped you set up recurring products in Go High Level with ease. If you want to try Go High Level, click the link in the description. And if you use my affiliate link, you're going to receive a 30-day free trial instead of the typical 14 days. Plus, you're going to gain access to my Go High Level Jumpstart course, where I will walk you through everything that you need to know to set up and launch your business successfully within those first 30 days. And on top of that, you're going to receive a over $900 worth of premium Notion templates for free. Just click the link below to get started and to claim your bonuses. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Your support means the world to me and it helps me create even more valuable content for you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.